The 2018 Kentucky Derby continues to approach and there's plenty of prep races going on. So I wanted to continue my look at these races and catch up from where I left off in the last video on what's been going on and a little bit of a look ahead to what's coming up. So this past weekend, there were two different uh, prep races and the one I'm gonna look at right now is the Risen Star. So the Risen Star was a race where 50 points for the winner were at stake and then increased points for the second, third, and fourth finisher uh, as well. And this was a pretty good field actually, um, including it included some of the horses that maybe were considered favorites at this early stage. Um, probably the favorite going into the race was Instilled Regard. And there was also Noble Indy, who's a top Pletcher horse who had, I think a lot of people has promise, think has promise. But a horse, Bravazo, a little bit of a long shot coming into this race, wound up winning, trained by Wayne Lucas. Um, this is a horse that was not really on my radar and maybe probably wasn't on a lot of others either. He had run in a decent amount of races for his early age and there were some good results and some not great results um on the not good end he finished 10th in the uh, Kentucky Jockey Club uh but he did have some decent results um but again he was not necessarily a favorite even just forget about the Kentucky Derby going to this race but he pulled off a nice win, a nice win and you have to give him a lot of credit and he earned those 50 points um towards the Derby I think it was kind of a weird race. It was kind of jumbled up. I'm not sure. I didn't necessarily love the race. Um, but you have to give Bravazo credit for winning uh, at the same time. And if his team, if they feel like he has a shot in the Derby, you know, that those 50 points, I'm, I don't know if just that 50 will qualify him. It might. I have to double check on the standings from last year to get a perspective on that. Um, but certainly, even if he just runs in one more prep and has like a top four finish, I think almost definitely he'd be qualified at that point. So it's just up to them. I'm not sure, you know, he's even if he does get into the Derby, unless he has another really good performance, I'm not sure that he's going to be high on a lot of people's list. But hey, you know, just look at last year's Derby and you see um, uh, a long shot can get in and then make some noise in the race um once you're in the starting post anything can happen it's a cliche but it's so true um so credit to bravazo and we'll kind of just have to see what is in store for him in the future i'm, I'm really not sure um it's just kind of a waiting game at this point it's, but the other two horses that i earlier mentioned um nibble indy finished third that's not a terrible performance for him um i'm not sure what his future is but he ran an okay race not great but um you know if if he does improve he's still one that is worth keeping an eye on and then in stilled regard finished fourth kind of a weird performance again this he was the heavy favorite in this race and one of the three or four favorites at entering into this race for the derby and he just didn't really run great you know finished fourth which isn't terrible but for the favorite like that it's not good um but he's still, if his team thinks he's good enough, you know, there's still plenty of time to kind of pick up the pieces and um, still qualify for the Derby. And if he, you know, has a bounce back for performance, then, hey, people can forget about that race pretty easily. So it's not, you know, it's not disastrous for him. But at the same time, it was a very disappointing performance. Another race yesterday was the South or excuse me, the El Camino Derby. And um, that was won by a Philly actually paid. So massive credit to her. Um, I, this was a 10 pointer. The winner got 10 points. So I'm, I'm not sure that there were any Derby uh, contenders in this one. Um, maybe they could prove me wrong, but um, we'll see what's in store for paid. But that's a nice win regardless of what happens in the future. Um, and we'll just kind of have to see. I, I, I don't know what her future is in terms of derby no derby or 
you know, anything like that. Uh, and the other horses, for now at least, I'm not sure that they're yeah, massive pretenders. They'd have to really improve in their upcoming starts. And then actually today, later on today, there's a really interesting race to Southwest. This is another 10-pointer. So in that sense, it's not massively important. But it's a pretty nice field, and if a horse can emerge from that, um, they could vault right up there to the top contenders for the Derby. Because like I said, if you look through the field, I'm not going to go through it right now, but if you do look, go through it, it's a nice field. It'll be worth watching and paying attention to and seeing who emerges as a top couple of contenders from that race. Going back a few weeks ago, there was the Sam F. Davis, which I haven't uh, mentioned in a video yet. And this was a really good uh, field, actually. And it was won by Flame Away and another upset. And Flame Away is trained by Mark Cassie, who last year had one of the favorites in the Kentucky Derby Classic Empire. And Flame Away was not one of these top horses at this point, but that's a really nice win because this was a really good, or not really good, but it was a really solid field. Finishing, um, I guess it was, second was Catholic Boy, and who is really talented, won the Remsen, and a lot of people had him as one of their top favorites, but didn't run great here. But I wasn't totally um, put off by his performance. It wasn't too bad. But again, he's going to, you know, wherever he shows up next, he's going to have to improve but I still like him and I think he's still a serious contender for the Derby Catholic boy I'm not forgetting about him and a horse that a lot of people are talking about who finished third here was Vino Rosso and this is a top pleasure trained and wow like he was a little bit raw coming into this race that was kind of the scouting report on him but he ran pretty solid and in the stretch one he was really going fast you have to go back and watch it to get the Again, this is the same F. Davis. Go back and watch it if you can, or if you didn't watch it live. But he was really coming in strong at the end there. And wow, if they can improve him, and you know that he showed a lot of promise. Again, he doesn't have the points right now to make the Derby, but if in a future prep, if they can get him on the right path, he, he I think he could be a really dangerous horse. That's Vino Rosso. So those are the past couple of preps that have been going on. Again, there's one later today. So we had the Risen Star, won by Bravoso. Um, and then there was the Sam F. Davis, which I just mentioned, and the El Camino Derby. And then there's a bunch coming up. And again, this is where it starts to get really interesting, if it hasn't been interesting already, where you have the 50-pointers and then the 100-pointers. And by that, I mean the winner of the race gets that many points. And then also the second and third finishers get increased point totals as well so it's really time to buckle down and um enjoy these races and it's fun because i don't think there's you know the, we still have some of the well-known favorites like bolt Doro, good magic uh there's a couple of uh bob baffert horses and then some of the ones who have won the preps in the last couple of weeks but I really, I think it's still very open and there's still plenty of time to horses to emerge that aren't on the top radar yet. So very interesting. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the races coming up and I'll be back soon to discuss them.